Want to make it easy? We're going to go for a measurement from this corner to this corner. In this corner, there's four blocks. Why four blocks? Because in this side, there's four blocks to one. But if there's four blocks to one, then there has to be the surrounding blocks. Surrounding blocks are eight. Here's the perimeter. Surrounding blocks to one is eight. But the one, okay, is the propeller, is the pin of the propeller, is the nose of the propeller, which is in between both sides. It is in between both sides, and at the same time, it's a screw. If it was a totality of one square, if it was a totality of one square, and this was the area square, okay, there would be a total of four, 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 and four. Four, 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 and four. Well, we have to talk about all sides, right? Eight, eight. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. But this angle would cut these squares in half when I use this angle. And this angle would cut these squares in half. So we're going to go to the center over here. But we only have 8 areas on the outside. So we create a ninth area. So the ninth area, the ninth area is one covering four boards okay the totality is eight four and four is eight one is covering one covers eight one divided by eight is one eighth but it's a perimeter it's one separation it's one separation so one separation take away one two three four one quarter of 8, which equals to 2 plus 8, equaling to 10. 2 plus 8 equals to 10. 6 plus 2 equals to 8. Are we following me so far? So what happens now is because this box over here will take away one half of four areas. Okay? There are a total of eight half areas involved in this. Half of this way, half this way, half this way, half this way. Two, four, six, eight. One part of eight, or one eighth, or one sixteenth, because you have both directions, is taken out. Now, if you take a look what this looks like, uh, if you take a look what this actually looks like, it looks like this. It's a spindle. It's a spindle. It looks like fish, kissing fish, face to face, or part of the Mayan uh, uh, art texture or multiple levels of the cube. One, two, three levels of the cube. So we're gonna go back. So this will take one part square of each one, which will leave three and one, three and one, three and one, three and one. Three, six, nine, 12 for one. 12 for one, three to one. Are we with me so far? So since it's now we understand three to one, Okay, this total area, this total area over here is one quarter. Missing one quarter means it's 3.75. 3.75 for this one is 7.5, and 3.75 and 3.75 equals to 15. Okay, this area, because there's eight surrounding and it's the ninth area, this area, because there's one surrounding the eight area, it becomes one and eight, nine. Angel resident. Resident angel, the letter R, 666, six, six, six times three, nine by two birth. So it's one quarter. Nine area, because of, it's a ninth one to eight, but it is area one. Nine area to eight, but it is area one, and it is the center of everything, one, two, three, four, and is the fifth position. Nine and one is 10. Nine and five is 14. That is your 14, that is your 10. 7 by 2, 5 by 2. There is your 5 and 7. There is your 3.75. Um, how can I explain it any more than that? So 1, 5, 9 end up to be together, and the Aleph letter takes up 1, 5, and 9, and then the 3, and the 7. The 3 is on one side, one side here on the upper side, and the 7 is on the lower side, divided by 1 half of 1, 
and one half of nine. One half of one is 0.5, one half of nine is 4.5. So you're actually working at 0.5 and 4.5 is your actual working numbers. If you add it up to this, you have your 50. If you have the in-between by this, you only have 39. In reality, there's 0.25 is the difference. 5 times 5. 0 0.5. 4.5. 80. 1 times 5 equals 5 equals, excuse me, uh, 85 times 5. 5, 8. 0. Did I get that right? Let me, let me see that. In order to get $4.50 in nickels, okay, you need 14 quarters. You need 14 quarters. Did I ruin my whole other page? No, I'm okay. You need 14 quarters to, uh, to make four and a half. Tw uh, no, you need 18 quarters to make 4.5. And how many nickels? You need 20 nickels to make one. You need 80 nickels. You need 90 nickels to make 4.5. 90 is creation reverse 96. 4.5 is the sun. How else would you like me to, to say this? I don't even know if I explained it properly. I don't even know if I want to upload this video. Um, it's to say that the area is in here. This is one and five all around. This is two, three, and four. The center of this is right here, of two, three, and four. If I put it here, the center, this thing would go, and it would go up here. But when it's here, it's evenly matched. So this is area one of the area 0.5, because as it is halfway between both areas, it is the center of all, center area to all is the five, okay? Between one plus four, nine minus four, equals to the five. Nine minus four is five, one plus four is five, one, five, nine area right over here. So that is the Aleph letter. The Aleph is the heart and is the transmission crossover to the other side. Whether we do it this way, eye to eye, because they have tails. Tails are like eyes, plug in. Raphael 7286 in the constellation of Pegasus. And um, I just found a soccer ball design just now because all that design I'm doing on my floor is going to have to set up as a soccer ball. I'm not going to get into that now. Just let it go. Thank you for watching. It was 7.35 all the same. I'm going to untangle these numbers. I'm going to keep putting out the videos. Whether you understand or not, it's not your fault if you don't understand. It's my fault. I'm not explaining it right. If you have an interest to understand, I have to come out here before I scare you away. Raphael, 7286 in a constellation of Pegasus. Just trying to learn the nursery rhymes, right? Kindergarten? Grade one? Grade two? I'll be the teacher. No. Let's all be the teachers.